good day sassy babies it's sammy here welcome back to another sassy vlog today is sunday and usually on sundays if i'm not doing like self-care skincare taking a bath or relaxing i'm normally cleaning i don't do anything super strenuous i don't really go outside like i said i'm cleaning and organizing so just ignore the mess but this is kind of like my makeshift vanity this is how i normally stored my skincare because it was like tucked out of the way um, it's all discombobulated now, but normally I would have like my cleansers and tools and stuff like that in here. But I kind of just got sick and tired of this. It's really annoying, especially with these like plastic little bins. So let me show you guys what I've been working on. To the left of the makeshift vanity, I'm also working on that. Everything is a work in progress, but because I went to the TJ Maxx Home Goods yesterday, I found this super cute double-sided retractable like carry case also if you're wondering these are like facial cleansing sponges that i also got from i think tj maxx home goods they're so cute they're like pink and you just kind of like take off your mask and stuff with these they're really soft despite how rough they might look and then i have these pink and white little hair ties i'm actually wearing the turban that match this right now but this is the packaging in case you want to like get them or look them up or something yeah these are from tj maxx for 4.99 super cute and there's like step-by-step -step instructions and i just love the name of this company the vintage cosmetic company so cute i have a lot of stuff from here as well sorry if the lighting goes in and out but for the drawers i just got these two smaller ones from target actually these all are from target that is a work in progress don't look over there just look at the cute stuff because this is what i've been working on i got these cute little baskets so in the bottom drawer is going to kind of be like my towels um, cleaning cloths that kind of stuff just as like the stock and then I also might store other things back here like little washcloths strictly for skincare because it was a set of three of like the baskets I just put one in here one in here and then the larger one at the bottom in case you're wondering oops that's one secret I'll never tell but in here I just put my little cotton swabs I don't use these for my ears I got this for my makeup and when I'm doing other people's makeup I feel like it's just sanitary to kind of like dip this into like a micellar cleansing water and just like remove like the eyeliner or just something super minor that you might mess up on and you don't want to take like all your makeup off with a makeup removing wipe you just use one of those so that's what's going to go in here and then in the top drawer is kind of like my everyday facial brush by duval and all the other little attachments these are the disposable cotton rounds i just had a little bit of those left so i just decided to keep them in here and once these are all used up i don't think that i'm ever going to buy them again personally in the house i just want to stick to the reusable um cotton rounds these actually came in this jar if you guys watch the sassy vlogs then you would know this little area had like that babe cave sign up here actually fell off it's right there and um this is where by keurig resided i don't use my coffee maker that often the last time i used it was in like that little fancy cottage airbnb for my birthday that was the last time i used my keurig i love it and i feel like i'm going to get more use out of it in the new house because it will be like in the kitchen and not in the basement um so i think i'm going to utilize this area and space for something else pack all this stuff away and just i don't know i can use this for way more stuff i also ordered a shelf from etsy i'll try to answer the picture right here i just literally went on google and typed in um vintage shelf and that popped up and i was just like this is so cute it's so affordable and it's in new jersey so i know it's gonna ship and get here pretty quickly so i think i'm gonna put that shelf right here you guys also remember these cute little candles i got it was a set of three from home goods for like 25 dollars they're so cute and i love like that they flicker back and forth kind of mimicking candles i really got these because i don't like candles in my mom's house but when i move i definitely will be lighting <laughs> way more candles kind of yellow but it's so cute especially at night let me kind of turn the brightness down kind of sets the vibe and the tone for the night just it's just so cute if you want to relax and listen to like some classical music or watch something like breakfast at tiffany's romeo and juliet and then over here um i just have like the sunglasses i bought some rose gold butterfly earrings and of course my flower box by my friend Tanya. so they're so cute i need to order one of her gucci ones as well anyways ignore my appearance i'm actually about to get in the shower in like five minutes so i put a little turban on this is the matching turban from the vintage cosmetic company i got this probably at like I think I picked this up from Burlington, but always check those local stores like Ross, Burlington, Marshalls, TJ Maxx because they have the cutest stuff. It's girly like essentials. Like for some reason, spring and summer is like the best time to go shopping. And with the world kind of opening back up, stores are getting more stock of things. They have a lot of cute stuff. Like I feel like my last pick me up haul was so successful. I didn't get that much, but I got enough where I felt like that was worth my time, money, and just it was a good time. Thank you. 
sheets. I just went ahead and put a lot of stuff in there. It looks a little cluttered now. But I just moved that from this area so I can kind of open this. My actual first time pulling this out entirely. So I just thought that it came with like this pink and white little set. But it actually has a white one and a gray one in case, I don't know, it's just your style or aesthetic and you want it to match. Or if a guy can use this, they may not want pink. So that is super cute. I did not know that. I came with it. Wow, I should have read the box. Anyways, before I put the rest of the like facial cleansing cloths in there, I kind of want to wipe out the inside. I did wipe this part, but because this is like my first time opening the bottom, I need to wipe it out. And I'm going to do so with the Juicy Couture little hand sanitizing wipes. I have so many of these, it's not even funny. And when you see this stuff, you need to just buy it because you never know when you're going to like see this stuff again. Even when I'm packing like my orders for my Sassy Ever After, shop i wipe down everything with these hand sanitizing wipes and they just are so effective and they just like pop out so i'm going to use this to clean that and then i'm going to put the little pads in there hi boo so it is the next day it's like 2 p.m i have been cleaning and organizing and i was like i didn't even vlog it this is pretty much seen this i've been kind of filling it in like face masks and products and stuff but it still looks good from the outside and then um this is going to be like more skincare just put these baskets that i had in there and this is like my face steamer then in this drawer is just like hair products so all of my styling tools which is insane for one person but yeah i have two hair dryers i have hair gel these are these like bridal hair thing they just say bridesmaids they're so cute i got these so long ago from walmart i just love like this little tie feature anyways this is just like all my accessories in here anyways out of like my 10 different packages that were supposed to come today and this weekend i ordered from bath and body works because i want to just like pick myself up and just order a lot of little small goods a lot of them are like boardwalk inspired like beachy um so i got bath and body works i ordered that little shelf or whatever to go up here that was shipped which is crazy i just ordered it the other day and it's already shipped um because so i thought she had to like paint it but i guess they're already done the only package that did come today was my package from shein i was watching one of gabby's vlogs and one of my favorite like types of videos by her is heart hauls like she always puts me on to like the cutest clothes shoes swimwear accessories i will do a try on please don't send me no hate I can like her too and I was just telling my sister like we're about to go on vacation I have no swimsuits which is why I got my sister kind of to crochet me some because I literally had nothing I don't know what happened to my swimsuits they kind of just like disappeared the only one I had for the longest time was my love shack fancy Robbie swimsuit and I was like I cannot keep wearing the same thing so I got my sister to crochet me the pastel swimsuit me a cow print and I was like I have no swimwear I kid you not as soon as I went on YouTube one of Gabby's like vlogs were recommended to me of like swimwear so I literally commented and was like these are so cute I'm adding all of these to my cart and I think I got like five pieces so it's like blue it's like this really pretty pastel blue kind of matches my nails it's like so frilly and I feel like such a like dancer like I'm doing ballet or something in the skirt like it's just so cute it's like it covers you but not too much it's still like adult vibes you know what I mean anyways I did get some new swimsuits now I feel ready to like take on um the beach and do like a little try on haul but that was all i was doing honestly i don't have any other updates for you guys other than oh my shop i want to start listing more stuff like for example i'm probably gonna link this by the time this video goes up you guys should see this in my shop i have this like vintagey inspired cake tin it just says sweet stuff on it and i no longer have it used for and this is kind of like not the vibe i'm going for in the kitchen anymore it's the vibe i wanted to do like another little vloggy haul or whatever but they just didn't send me my stuff i'm still waiting for it out for delivery so that was all i had got other than that from target you guys know from target i had got like these cute little jars i actually found these when i was with my boyfriend up in the area that he lives in so they never have this kind of stuff where i live i'm like every time i go away they have everything so these are so cute i thought they would be really nice for like little nuts and seeds and they are mason jars so super cute and they have pink lids things that i had got from target were these like little glasses hang on they're so cute of course i got pink and blue i seen like a tiktok if i can find it i'll put it on the side of the screen she just put like wax melts in there and like let it sit in the hot car and it just permeates the air and it smells really nice kind of like a at home air freshener for the car that will last and it's like super inexpensive because these are three dollars at target and like little wax melts are always like two to five dollars depending on where you go i also picked this up at target i was watching one of Aaliyah's vlogs Aaliyah's face i don't know if you guys know who i'm talking about 
but she recommended from another youtuber this black girl sunscreen i think i've tried every brand of sunscreen like just from target and walmart from the drugstore and they always like leave that residue which is so annoying like especially being brown i'm like i don't want to look like this you can even see like when my boyfriend wears sunscreen you can still see it because he doesn't rub it in but that's so annoying like i don't want anyone to know i'm wearing sunscreen like if that's your vibe go ahead and support that but for me it's a no and this is like 14 to 15 dollars but for me i don't need that much sunscreen i'm normally i'm covered especially at the beach i always have like a sweater or something on um but i always try to make sure to get my face because my face does tan and it's always brutal but yeah it looks like this and i probably put too much so I'm going to like rub it in with my hand. Look at that. Literally no residue, nothing. Like it's, look at that. It leaves a little shimmer. Look at the difference. So worth the $15 that I paid for it. I've been using it for about a week and a half now and I have no complaints. So I'll link this down below. Um, so I just wanted to put that out there and put you guys on to like something. Because I know you guys always be like, I got this from Target. I use this skincare from Target. I'm like, thank you. Another thing I picked up were two tennis skirts. I was going to get these in black, white, pink, and blue. But when I got to the register, like, first of all, when I tried them all on, they were so stinking cute. I got them from a store in the mall called Garage. Um, I went to Cherry Hill Mall, but I think they have the same store in, in King of Prussia if you guys are in PA. So, anyway, I tried all of them on. I loved all of them. Of course, I would love to have black, white, pink, and blue. I really hate when I go somewhere and I'm like, oh, that top would be so cute. I'll, like, see it in white, and then next to it would be black. And I'm like, well, I need both colors because, like, it's a staple in my wardrobe. And then I might look behind, and I'm like, wait, it's pink. And I'll see another one, and it's blue. And I'm like, I need all of them because I love black and white, and I love pink and blue. Like, whenever there's, like, pink and blue, I can never decide. I just get both. But anyways, I came to the conclusion of just, like, I don't need four skirts in the same style even if they're different colors i should have gotten it i kind of regret my decision now but i did pick up a blue one you guys know it's my favorite favorite color and it just looks like this so stinking cute i'll just insert a clip of me trying it on but i love how they fit i got a small and it is like a skirt, so they do come with like built-in short which is just something that i really like for some reason i've been wearing a lot of tennis skirts i find a lot of them at a store called sierra also in lake cherry hill biker shorts and tennis skirts and like crop tops and cute little bralettes are like my favorite thing to wear and crop tops like not spaghetti strap i'll wear something with like a puff sleeve or just something with a bow on it like that's just kind of my style and i've been wearing a ton of that and my boyfriend likes it so uh i think i'm gonna be wearing more tennis skirts <laughs> for me and him but i got the same thing and white is just so stunning. They're made so well. I'm kind of afraid to kind of get this dirty, but I am going to be taking these to the beach with me. They both retail for $40, so. Anyways, I don't have anything else to do, and I don't think my boyfriend is going to watch my vlogs. I know he probably does, but whatever the case. Um, if you watch this, then... Oh well, you're just not going to be surprised. But he comes back in like a month or so. So I really want to do something fun and nice for him. I just don't know what. It's like I have no idea what. I don't know if I should like run out. He likes mini golf. So I don't know if I should do something like that. I really want to do a cute little picnic. I bought a really cute shabby chic picnic uh, basket from Amazon for like two. So cute. Um, I'm actually going to take that to the beach with me. <laughs> Let me know down below in the comments or just DM me on Instagram or something. Like, just send me ideas. You guys know I love it when you go on Pinterest and send me a bunch of, like, photos of what to do. We love being outdoors. We love hikes. Or not hikes. We love going on trails and walking. We both love ice cream and visiting little shops. So, just... I don't know, I want to do something really cute when he comes back, so let me know down below in the comments. But yeah, that's all for this vlog. I know it's like really short and just like nothing to it, but I wanted to just be active while I can because I don't know what the next time I'm going to be uploading with the traveling and work. So yeah, I love you guys so much. Don't forget to stay sassy, have courage, and always be kind. Spread nothing but love and positivity, and I will see you boost in the next sassy vlog. Bye!